was born to live, live to ride. Born to live, I was born to ride. American will we forever unite. And that's the deal I was born to ride. Now and Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices of Tom Harbor. Thanks for tuning in. On this special episode of Born to Ride Television, we take you to Unadilla, smack dab in the middle of the great state of Georgia, for an event so big that Born to Ride can't fit it all in just one episode. Tonight, we bring you part one and introduce you to Angel City. Angel City is 100 acres of land totally designed, operated, and dedicated to the biker lifestyle. It's unlike any other place in the world. Angel City delivers wonderful, unexpected surprises at every turn. A full western town with a circular road, bikers camping under the shady trees, or RVing in style. Live music, quality vendors, but it's much, much more than that. At this year's four-day-long Angel City Motorcycle Rally, we noticed that this great bike event had a heart and spirit all of its own that other rallies can only dream about. The Angel City Rally is about brotherhood, friendship, freedom, and of course, having a good time. So tonight is part one of the Angel City Motorcycle Rally from Unadilla, Georgia. Coming up right now, right here, only on Born to Ride. Out and 
started going to more rallies. We always went to rallies, and then anyway, after she died, and then I came back home and decided I was going to build Angel City because I was tired of seeing all the the big rallies, a lot of places overcharging, gouging people. I got two dollar beer. I call it the home of the two dollar beer. Cost of that. It just I wanted to bring the old west back to uh, to Georgia because uh, you go to Sturgis, you see it, and I said, why can't we do it over here? And we've done it here. And uh, since then, uh, I've named it Angel City because my wife that passed away was my angel, and I named the town as her town as Angel City. Since then, I remarried, and her name is Dawn, and she runs the office, and she works with me just like my first wife did. And the thing about it, all this all put together, man, ain't nobody no luckier than me because <laughs> God's blessed me more than twice. And I got one angel in heaven waiting on me, one walking the earth with me. And the thing about Angel City is you can come to Angel City and it's all about the brotherhood of the bike community. When you come to a bike rally like Angel City, it doesn't matter. If you sitting there and there's a Philadelphia lawyer and a guy making minimum wage beside him, they'll shake hands and drink beer and tell jokes and be buddies all day long. It ain't nothing about education. It ain't nothing about how much money you got. It's about the brotherhood and the sisterhood of riding scooters. And I invite people to come to Angel City that's never rode so they can experience what these people do. What, what makes you rich? It ain't money. Money ain't got nothing to do with being rich. It's the brotherhood and the sisterhood and the people that love you and respect you and would be there for you when you need them. Oh man, we got people that come from everywhere, and but all the campsites, like I say, it was 264 and all of them got uh, 50 amp service. And then through the woods, we got primitive camping. And then we also got dry, dry camping. If you come here, you're gonna find something that's totally different than anything. And the people here, they don't have no problems. So where are you gonna go that's a safer place? And besides that, where are you gonna go in Georgia that I've had people from Australia, Belgium, Germany, Norway, England, and Canada. Everybody on the East Coast is missing the best, biggest rally, private owned rally in the country. You ain't gotta pay four, five, six dollars for a beer, two dollar beer, great entertainment. Band starting around anywhere from 12 and going to two o'clock in the morning for four full days and it only costs you $45 a ticket. You can't go out to eat two people for that. Now I guess that's pretty much it other than me being John Wayne and I grew up a cowboy Indian boy and that's what I believe in and a handshake still good as gold here. And uh, this 100 acres the Angel City Zone is America and it'll always be America. But if you don't come, it's your loss. If you do come, you'll always come back because I swear you, I promise you one thing for sure. You will have a good time. Angel City. Now you can take Born to Ride everywhere and anywhere. The new Born to Ride mobile app is ready for you to download. There's more multimedia, more information, more Born to Ride like never before. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine. For over 18 years, the ultimate multimedia biker experience. with people who defended their heart, their mind, their spirit, their soul, and their life. I think I'm blessed to be able to do this, and it's my honor to participate in this. The table. The table is small, and set for one, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his oppressors. Remember, let me hear from you. Remember. Remember. I'd like to ask you.
you to participate in this ceremony. Every time I say remember, I'd ask you to echo what I say. <laughs> the plate. The plate is round. Its shape shows our everlasting concern for our POWs and our MIAs, our prisoners of war, and our men who are missing in action. Remember. A single red rose displayed in the vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades of arms in arms who keep the faith while awaiting their return. Remember. The red ribbon on the vase represents the ribbon worn on the lapels of thousands who bear witness with unyielding determination, demanding from our government a proper accounting of the missing. Remember. The lemon reminds us of the bitter fate of those who were captured or are missing in a foreign land. Remember. The salt. The salt symbolizes the tears of the missing and their families who still seek answers. Remember. Remember. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith that sustains those lost from our country, which was founded as one nation under God. The candle is lit, symbolizing the unconquerable spirit of our POWs and MIAs as it lights their way home. Remember! Remember! The glass is inverted because they cannot toast with us today. Remember! The chair is empty. They cannot sit with us today. They are missing. Remember! The POW MIA flag. The POWMI flag is draped to cover the chair, to symbolize our prayers daily, covering those who are prisoners of war and missing in action. Remember! All of you who depend on their fight and the aid there when they were lost and now to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. He died recently. He was here at the last rally, but he was so sick that he couldn't. 
could not be with us. And it was his desire that his ashes would be spread at Angel City. And his wife and his brother and some of his friends are here with us today. Passed from this earth December 25th, 2012. At this time, we're going to spread his ashes across from the speakers to the table over there. Brother Brian, if you'd go ahead and do that. And at the conclusion of the spreading of the ashes, I ask you to step back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I ask you to step back a little bit more so that these motorcycles will be able to ride through here. It was Papa's desire that his ashes be spread in Angel City and that all the vets who were here that would participate would ride through his ashes so he could keep on riding. Those people are all smartened up talking kids, Arnie and K Fizz, eh? And they know what's going on. What you gonna do when Board and Ride runs wild on you, brother? Thank you. 